Women now make up a third of Britain's farmers. At Arla Foods, a farmer-owned cooperative, women play key roles at all levels of the global business. We visited their Tor Valley Creamery in Devon and a farm in Cornwall to learn more about how women are blazing new trails in food manufacturing and farming. Farmer Kate Hall was brought up on a farm and takes her role as a custodian of the land seriously. She and her husband Kevin are determined to recycle as much waste as possible. This tractor runs on biofuel produced sustainably right here on the farm. So your tractor runs on poo? Yes, it does. It runs on cow poo. Um, and the engine is designed to run on methane. It's not a hybrid. Um, it solely runs on methane. And we can harness the methane on farm and fill the tractor and use the methane on farm as well. It doesn't have to go anywhere. It doesn't have to be processed anywhere. It's all processed on farm. So literally everything that goes into the cow and that comes out the other end is completely usable. <laughs> and we've also gone sort of into the sustainable world, if you like, trying to make sure that everything that we do is done in a sustainable manner, which obviously fits quite nicely with Arla and their ethos. Um, so they've been good at supporting us with that as well. As a farmer-owned cooperative, Arla Foods is proud that women are not only farmers, but feature at all levels of the business, including managers and directors, all producing quality dairy to the highest standards. This is the cheese production area where 1.1 million litres of milk is processed every day to make 125 tonnes of cheese. Food manufacturing as a worthy career option is something the company is keen to highlight. So I think that we've got more females in the industry now and certainly I've seen more females in senior positions but I think also that the characteristic of the industry itself has changed significantly so we've got a lot more automation, a lot more so the, the I guess the perceived manual um, aspects of the food industry, a lot of those have changed now and we've got more digital aspects to the role so the, the jobs themselves have changed. I think it's really important for us here in Arla to nurture female talent and we do it in different ways. One of them is looking at projects and opportunities for some of our female talents to learn. Um, we encourage a lot of dairy technician apprenticeships, we encourage a lot of leadership training. But one of the main areas that I do a lot of is mentoring and coaching. So I currently mentor six people, four of which are female. This investment is already paying off in Arla's bespoke dairy apprenticeship programme, which, since it started, has had 50% female participation, while women are well represented in its senior roles at over 30% in the UK overall. The company is not only on a mission to revolutionise its diverse roles and opportunities, but also to promote its purpose. We've got a much greater responsibility to explain what an amazing job it is to work in the food industry. People eat what we make, you know, we feed our children what we make and that's a huge responsibility but also something that's amazing. Modern technology is making food production easier to manage and flexible hours for some roles make the industry an attractive one. I enjoy the farm and the children because it gives me that freedom to say, right, I've put that line of cows onto milk, I'm just going to go and run and check the children. Or um, I finished the morning milking on a Saturday, let's go down the field and play in the stream. It, it does give you that flexibility, I'm my own boss, or we're our own boss. Right. Although, yes, I have a, a big job, I make sure it doesn't um, overwhelm my life. So things like always being at home for my children's birthdays, always picking the phone up if the school rings, things like that are, are, are what make sure that I keep my boundaries for my work um, and my home. We're looking within different sites and within manufacturing, different ways of recruiting people that are at different stages of their life and trying to make the roles fit them. Um, and I think the future of manufacturing will head a lot more in that way to attract new talents and new ways of thinking to make, make sure that we have a more diverse workforce.